You're still on the sports show here with me, Eli Kondo, and I'm here with Amanda Clinton. And uh, we've had a very interesting conversation so far. If you're just joining us, a lot has been said and unveiled here on the show. If you didn't know, well, she's about to unveil a football club here in Ghana, female football club. So just watch out for that as we keep uh, predicting the future for you here on the sports show on Sportsnet GH TV. Now, we're still on this time. Let's talk about women in football. Mm -hmm. In Sierra Leone, there's a football ethnic president who is a woman. Yes. And Ghana could have had a female football president as well, but that didn't happen after the elections. But what do you think women in football really can do in terms of re, uh, um, structuring or re evolving football in Africa? In terms of evolving football, I think women have a very unique role just because of their skill set automatically before mm -hmm. you even have the ex you know, extra skill sets. And ultimately, I think women in football um, have integrity or are more prone to, 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 to know that their decisions should be integrity filled, otherwise, you know, it could lead to allegations of corruption, which yeah. they don't want. Mm. So integrity is number one, creativity and industry. Mm. Um, those are the skill sets that most women have. And so having other skills on top of that, be it legal strategy or football background in particular, just makes them absolute unique candidates. Um, because we also have to think that if we are going to platform football on the next level, mm -hmm. in any country, particularly in Africa, we have to acknowledge the fact that big business means that you have to have corporate buy-in, you have to have um, public interest buy-in, you have to have international buy-in, and the only one who could do that is to have a figurehead who has integrity, who is creative, and who is industrious enough to bring money in to the body mm. of football, whilst making sure that corruption doesn't exist and keeps the balance. And I had hoped that the delegates would have been involved enough to see um, where I was going with okay. that. Mm -hmm. But um, we still have an opportunity yeah. because, you know, uh, Mahama just has a, a female vice president now, which has opened up public perception as okay. to women in absolute senior roles. And the level of attention she has received means that delegates will know that should a female candidate, particularly with integrity, creativity, and industry lead them, it will bring about more FIFA money, international attention, non-corruption, and just take Ghana football to the next level. So I'm hoping we've evolved since the last election. Well, is this a matter of time before we find out how this will turn out good in terms of women in football authority? Already, like you said, um, the uh, political tyranny is having a female first running mate. So that goes in line with women in power and how... Yes, I mean, it goes in line with women in power because um, looking at it as an outsider, for instance, one would not have imagined you'd have headlines for three, four weeks just because of a female candidate who is clean. Because some people have said, I've never even heard her give a speech. I've never... Um, she, when she was education minister, what... You know, what was the pull? I don't, yeah. I, I don't understand. But just having a clean record, um, being a woman of integrity and sound mind, um, who delivered a speech recently that happened to be very good, it seems like is better than the other candidates who had been perhaps soiled with financial issues, and so they weren't selected. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So it seems just having integrity uh, being a woman of honor and um, having a strong resolve to deliver speeches, etc., sets you in place to be the figurehead whilst the body of that particular industry or setup, you know, uh, can do their job as you do your job. Well, some have said that women in football should be more, in terms of, more aggressive and with some command in terms of the approach towards how things are done. The thing that you are too um, beautiful and calmer for that role. What, what do you make of that? Well, I think we just also have to cast our minds back to 2018, mm -hmm. where a former exco, the um, executive committee of, of Ghana football, mm -hmm. um, an entire male-dominated yeah. group who even had their own lawyer internationally and locally, 
decided to go for a woman they had had three meetings with. Yeah. I came over prepared, and they said this person with what she has inside her in terms of resolve is the person to spearhead our campaign to ensure that GFA is not wound up. And one way or the other, even though it did lead to the, um, the removal of the exco, the GFA wasn't wound up. And so if men who are used to going on instinct, going on um, just this knowing of themselves, like, no, I trust this person to carry out this agenda, can make that decision in three meetings yeah. and make that That's decision you. for the body of mm. the entire GFA that now stands based on that decision, I think, you know, it's fair to say that I, I do have quite a bit of resolve, strategy, and an inner strength that can lead meetings and get things done, which is what you need. Well, being a woman, let's talk about the black queens in a bit here, or yeah. women's football. Yeah. Now, our black queens, the national football team, have been to a couple of World Cups. They've been to the World African Games as well and all that. Ghana, would, I'll say, one of the best when it comes to women's football. But in terms of the World Cup, we've not gotten that far. What do you think, you being a woman, and you know how women re re react, what do you think is needed to enforce the potential of women football on the world stage? I think that there's a lot of money available, um, even at FIFA level, to, um, to particularly to, to, to female groups um, coming up. Mm -hmm. And I would make that a priority, should I be made president, of, I still can, yeah. um, to ensure that more money is sought after and invested in female football. And something that a lot of people don't know is, even though f uh, money has been sought you know, years previously, for women, it didn't necessarily mean the money went to them or to clubs. So I would ensure that every penny that is meant for them goes to them because money does allow one to invest more, not only in training, but in cults and in looking for players and in developing them because it's a long-term strategy. You develop these players long enough and well enough though, particularly females, um, they have more of a chance of competing internationally than, for instance, the male sports, yeah. because world-class male sports is so high that it takes even more to, to make sure our players are up to scratch. So I would make sure money meant for female players would go directly to them, and that we're searching for more people, we're investing in more time and energy and money, uh, but above all, protecting the women, because I've also heard stories that women are not as protected, mm. and some men just use it as an avenue for abuse. So I would definitely have, you know, change that, uh, should I be put in that position. Well, a lot of good things to be expected from Amanda. I mean, a couple of time, I said, is it time to uh, answer it all things? So we'll, we'll wait to see also that, how that goes. But this has been a sports show here on Sportsnet GHTV with me, Ali Kondo, and uh, Amanda, and a very affable, lady we've had here on the show today. Thank you very much, Amanda. And I'm sure Thanks for having me. You, you might have something brief to say to your viewers before we call it a wrap. Yes, that, um, you know, the cast decision is probably going to come in quite soon. Um, but with or without a re-election, I just really uh, want the nation to be passionate again about believing in football and believing in the fact that they can really transform lives and you know just platform um, uh, different players and above all that sanitizing football and uh, you know taking it to the next level does involve getting even more people on your dreams can come true at lakeside estate with 24-hour security a police station and a serene environment Lakeside Estate gives you the house of your dreams as well as absolute peace of mind. Make the move today. Move to Lakeside Estate.